Another way to convey information in a drawing is to fill areas with a solid color or repetitive pattern of lines. For example, you may need to represent the pattern of brick on the elevation of a building, or show the solid portions of metal in a cross-section through a mechanical part. You can also fill areas with a gradient fill to add different types of graphic effects. You can easily add hatches and gradient fills to any closed object or closed area. The key is that the area in which you want to add the hatch or gradient fill must be a closed area. When you apply a hatch, you can choose the appearance of the hatch pattern by selecting the desired pattern from a set of predefined hatch patterns supplied with AutoCAD. If you prefer, you can define a simple pattern of parallel lines on the fly. You can also add additional hatch patterns to the library, either by acquiring them from a third party or creating them yourself. When you apply the hatch pattern, you determine the scale at which the pattern will be applied and the angle at which the hatch pattern is applied. When you apply a hatch, the hatch is typically created on the current layer in which case its color, line type, and transparency are determined by the color, line type, and transparency of the current layer. You can also place the hatch on a specified layer using the color, line type, and transparency settings assigned to that layer. But you can also specify the hatch color and transparency explicitly. You can also assign a hatch background color. Hatch patterns can be associative. That means the hatch pattern automatically adjusts if the size or shape of the area being filled is subsequently changed. Hatch patterns can also be annotative. That means the hatch pattern rescales automatically if the scale of the drawing changes so that the hatch pattern always displays and prints at the size you specify regardless of changes to the scale of the drawing.